duck hunters love to tell stories about hitting the migration just right and limiting out. However, that's not always reality. Duck hunting is hard work, and the untold story is one of missed shots, broken gear, and hopefully a few laughs. But if you put in the time and play your cards right, a northerly wind might bring some birds your way. That's satisfying. I'm Sean Weaver, a former hunting guide, TV producer, and a guy who's just obsessed with waterfowl hunting. But limits of birds aren't what keeps duck hunting alive, and that's what I want to talk about. This is Duck Lore. When most folks think about Wyoming, they think of cowboys, rugged terrain, and big game hunting. And they're not wrong to do so. Most of the state is rangeland and desert shrub, there's a general lack of water, and it is a vast, harsh landscape. But cutting through the arid plains are clean rivers and irrigated crop fields, making for a few special places in the eyes of waterfowlers. On this episode, I'm joining my buddy and one heck of a goose hunter, Josh Wright, as well as First Light's community manager and goose hunting fanatic, Kevin Harlander. We've arrived right on the leading edge of a high pressure cold front, and the birds are definitely here. So we've set out early in hopes that we can scout what is effectively hundreds of miles of both land and water. Well, I like these ducks, but I know you guys probably want to go find some of those honkers. That's uh, right. Honkers for days. <laughs> you right. duck guys kill me. <laughs> I'm a chin strap guy. You know, <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm, outnumbered. I'm That's outnumbered. Right. That's they right. They should start moving here, so. The geese. Yeah, yeah. we should. Uh, we should get on the road. And right. We need to go check those cornfields yeah. of the we'll west. Go check huh? them out. All right. So, do it. These guys are dyed in the wool goose fanatics. And I can already tell that trying to pull them away from those big V's in the sky might be a challenge. Lucky for them, the ducks are feeding after dark with the full moon right now. And the water they're on is too frozen to run traffic. So, until conditions change, honkers it is. We break into two groups to scout the rest of the day, with Kevin and Josh in one rig and me in the other. That's a, for sure we have permission on that. My day, despite seeing a fair number of birds, doesn't pan out. I spend way too long trying to get permission on several different fields and pretty much just burn daylight. And as you probably know, this late in the season, there's not much of it to go around. Luckily, Kevin and Josh are more productive. Hey, how's your scout going? I think we found the mother load. Did you? Yeah. Ducks or geese? Combo, baby. Combo, yeah. Nice. Well, that's good Stop because talking. that's good because I'm not finding squat. Well, that's, that's what great. happens when you put two goose guys together. We just get it done. That's right. <laughs> Oh, hey, actually, I am pulling up to birds right now, though. Hey, love to see it. We'll catch up with you later. See you, at, see you at the barn. That is a beautiful thing right there. That back corner is piled full. The next morning, we get to sleep in, for waterfowlers anyway. Since the temps are very low, negative two, the birds will wait until after sunrise to feed. And since we're on private land, there's no need to get to the field at some crazy early hour. Compared to running boats on public, it's almost luxurious. Last night when we saw them in here, they were all were they? Yeah, it was like one yeah. solid line, and solid you could see line. like the family groups within the line mm -hmm. almost, you know what I mean? It wasn't the, and then they started trink, trickling into that corn. You guys want to start setting up blinds, and I'll go pile the truck full of tumbleweeds, or? That sounds perfect. That sounds great. Then we can do decoys after, try to keep them yeah. frost free. <laughs> Depending on where you are in the country, your decoy spreads will change drastically for geese. The subspecies of Canada geese you're hunting, the food source, and the weather all impact the size, 
shape and density of the spread. For example, it's middle of December. If we were hunting lesser Canada's in Oklahoma right now, we'd have a very tight spread with lots of decoys. If we were hunting East Coast geese, we'd probably use stuffers or fully flocked decoys and a smaller spread. But here, hunting these big geese in the cold, our strategy is a couple hundred decoys spread out somewhat lazily in the stubble with a lot of sleeper shell goose decoys centered right where we want to shoot them. What temp do you like to start setting sleepers? Um, 15 degrees and below. Yeah. That's about, you know, when they get in that mood where they're going to loaf in the field all day. Yeah. And people don't quite always realize that, like, how much they sleep in the field right. when it's cold. Right. We'll have three actives right out here, like they yeah. just landed. Yep. And I always like that number three. Three, that's your that's your number, huh? Three, yeah. You, you get... think that's like an actual magic number, or you think that's just a number for you? It's a magic number. <laughs> is it? Yeah, you think about it. You see a single that's you know, out by himself. This is my this is my philosophy. Okay. I don't I'm know sure. if geese can actually count, but they see an odd number and it's a single, they almost finish that three every time. Hmm. Just moments after we're in the blind, the birds start to move. Kill Oh boy. Rhea. Good shoot. Rhea. Still a couple there, eh? Yeah, we got a few. <laughs> yeah, I like nice. that. That was it. They sucked it right to the sleepers. Man, what a way to start. I think we got six out of them. We each doubled there. Each doubled. That's what happens That's when people shoot in their way. lanes. I hear, I hear yeah, a single. We gotta right get here. going, got boys. More coming? So yep. Let's do this. Here. Good boy, Rio. I Good boy. Two. Yep, take two. Actually, take four. One. Here. Yep. Grab I'll one. take two. Awesome. Good work, fellas. Good Woo work. Good work. Oh my god, these are the type of days you live for, buddy. I know it. <laughs> They're gonna do their big swing, they're coming. <laughs> That's what you call the old death swing right there. Fella. To hear Josh work a group of geese on the call is one of life's pleasures. The man can rip. And just as he gets a large flock to settle into the spread, I absolutely botch the shot call. Dude, let's... Should we kill those? We should have. That was my bad. I mean, there's there's the one deep. standing right here. That was such a screw up on my part, guys. Yeah, if we have six in the decoys, I mean, let's go. Yeah, I just thought that they were going to slide left, not slide right. Yeah. And I thought they were going to slide across us as a group. If you've ever missed a call like I just did, you know how utterly stupid it feels. That being said, we're still in a great position and there are a lot more birds in the sky still. But man, messing up the call like that will make you feel dumb. Hey Josh, next time I'm about to screw up a shot call, go ahead and call it. <laughs> Kill him, kill him. Killed that one there. The birds are pouring off the water, and as fast as Rio can get back in the blind, we're ready to shoot the next one. Back. Coming over our back.
Kill him. All right, I'm going to send Rio. He'll be good. Rio! I did not hit that bird. Let's go pick up those two. <laughs> God, man. Some big boys. <laughs> you find that other one yet, Kevin? Here, dude, Rio. It's right here. Oh, dude, it's got jewelry. No way. Dude. What? Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> That's oh, that crumpler. baby. Yes. Told you we killed another one over here, baby. <laughs> oh, man, I missed that one. Dude. Look at that. That is awesome. What, dude, what, what a morning. Too. Nice. Here, Rio. That's killer, dude. What a morning. Are you killer. kidding me? Killer, killer. <laughs> like the best goose hunt you could imagine <laughs> and then oh jewelry goodness. on top of that. Dude, I've never, I've never killed a banded goose. Really? Never. I've killed a lot of oh, geese, dude, that's... but we didn't have a lot in Minnesota, yeah. you know? Damn. Or Oregon. That is exciting. Oh, man, what a freaking morning. Can you believe it? Ah, oh, baby. Rio here. We should probably see where we're at. Huh? The longer you hunt and the more birds you bag, the better your odds of shooting a leg band. But there's exceptions. I've shot way more ducks and geese, but have all goose bands and no duck bands. Kevin is the opposite and has hunted geese hard with no goose bands. While a lot of waterfowlers see leg bands as a sign of your hunting prowess, what I love about bands is knowing where these birds came from and how old they are. When you shoot a white-tailed deer, you know that deer came from somewhere close by. But when you shoot a migratory goose or duck, you have no clue where it's from unless there's a band. Kill him. Boy. Nice shot. shot on that Josh. Wanna kill that one there? Uh, Rio! Nice dog, good dog. <laughs> I'm done. Dude. Nice shot on that one. That was oh, a nice yeah. shot. Took my time on that one. Yeah, I know. <laughs> After 70 degrees, 60 degrees, like all November, you get one cold front and all of a sudden the yeah. honkers are yeah. just good boy that's yeah. i mean that is as ridiculously good a decoying as you can get isn't it out there i mean <laughs> it doesn't get better, no, than that, no. better it just doesn't and they're coming off in those perfect size flocks yeah they're not doing their mass like right not all coming at once you can actually work them they're actually going to give you a chance to yep. flocks at 10 yeah. 20. Every, every waterfowl guy wants yeah this, right with it being 10 degrees outside, fresh cold front, like you really couldn't have dreamed up a better no, morning man. after after the fall we've had. That's you know? that's how you make that's how you make geese go from looking very smart to looking real silly. Little silly. Little silly. We got flock locked up right here. And another one right here. <laughs> With Josh and I at our limits, we head back into the blind to get Kevin his last bird for the day. Nope. Kill one, maybe. Yep, kill, him. kill one. Nice shot. Yeah. Oh yeah. Hey. <laughs> and that's Dude, a that is a quick. <laughs> what a hunt, man. What a day. <laughs> Good shot on that last one, man. As we pick up our spread under bluebird skies, with a three-man limit, a banded bird, and time to scout for tomorrow, it's hard to want for much. But as these guys know, I'm a duck guy. And this trip just won't be complete without at least one day chasing all the ducks we saw on our first scout. So that's the plan for tomorrow. Well, that and barbecue goose sandwiches. As the temps have risen, the ice that locked us out of the reservoir has receded and we're able to get a boat in the water. Might be a little aggressive on the decoys this morning, but... <laughs> Well, I'd always rather have too many than not enough. That's I don't right. Think there's such thing as too many. <laughs> so we loaded up with decoys and make two trips to get all the gear and hunters to our destination in a bay on the far side. I drop off Kevin first so he can start on the blind while I run back and grab Josh and Rio. As we head back to Kevin, the sky is turning light and the birds are already moving. Here comes another one on the right. 
but as we continue to watch ducks pour into the lake, then later learn even more from their gullet, these birds are actually returning from the feed. With the bright full moon and warmer temps, these ducks are so nocturnal that they fed at least an hour before sunrise. It's a lot of work to hunt on the water like this. You're telling me you just drove the goddamn boat. <laughs> Kill it. Down. Stay. Good shot. Real. First duck of the trip. That's a good boy. Uh, first Wyoming duck, boys. First, first Wyoming duck. Felt good. On the duck board. That's uh, special. I bet Sean's happy now. Oh, oh dude. Man. He got his duck fetish off his. Man, when you know? when you're hunting when you're hunting a place like Wyoming where they're roosting on like the cleanest water and then going out and eating barley and corn, you want some December pluckers, you know? Oh yeah. <laughs> shooting down there guys. Boy! <laughs> head underwater, let's go. <laughs> oh that's awesome. Look at that Pretty green head is, man. Killing ducks is pretty cool. Oh, I love it. <laughs> the birds are working but they're not finishing in tight. So I'm shifting these spinners tighter to shore in order to get the birds to finish a little closer and more centered up. It can be surprising what such a small change in the spread can do. Kill that, Josh. Kill it. Kill it. There's kill it. three right there. Two dead. There's one on the Real. shore. Will he go after that long one? Oh yeah, you bet. Look at him. Nice. Look at that. that is incredible. Nicely dog done, dog. boys. Those are some gorgeous ducks, there, man. Look at how happy he is. <laughs> I love that. He let us have our goose days. <laughs> Patiently waited. Hold on. Follow up. No, he's got it. No. I got him. Yeah. Nice. Real. Green, baby. Oh, green heads. <laughs> like from the. Oh, I man. Mean, they're... Dude, he finished from the heavens. Oh, my god. He got goodness. the perfect win, man. This is the kind of duck hunt you dream of, man. I'm actually going to. The sun had just hit the horizon, and we'd been decoying ducks as fast as we could load our guns. Nice shot. Real. What a shot. Coming in hot. Nice shot, man. Thank you. I mean, you couldn't have a duck do it any better than oh that. I mean, that gosh, is like man. 10 yards, 15 yards baby, tops. Dude. Truly, ducks don't do it better than that, no. man. Okay. Josh, you gotta shoot the next one. Kill it, Josh. Whoa, Rio. Nice. Rio. What a boy. <laughs> wow, Silly. man. I mean, they're literally finishing, made that one adjustment with the spinners, and it's like, oh my goodness. Bam. That is awesome. Heck, it might change me to a duck guy. <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh, we got a pair. Three coming. We got a single on the left, two coming. Yeah, I can't see it. Kill it. Kill it. Kill it. Kill it. Gun jammed. Oh, yeah. Down. Well, hey, we got more on the right, guys. Uh, look Down, Rio. Hey, we got a bunch about to do it. A bunch, right? Kill him. Shoot that duck again if you can. Oh, what? Rio! Another green head. Good shot on that, Josh. That's what's uh, important about a steady dog. Especially on water, you have to water swat them, you know, so they don't swim yeah, away. Exactly. Yeah, that's a big deal. And that's a huge point of, like, people, why they want a dog steady is that exact reason. Yep. all day long. Someone kill it, kill it, okay. kill it. Oh, yeah, nice shot, shot, Josh. Shot. Put a follow-up on that. There he is. Real. Kevin, that's pretty special. That is my favorite thing. Honestly, there's nothing to say about this hunt other than wow. All we had to do was stand up and shoot. We were all awestruck. It really was the hunt of a lifetime. Kill it in a second here. Kill him. <laughs> I mean, I'm I'm ten yards. I'm telling dude. you, if that's banded, dude, I'm gonna be like, let's go get a lottery ticket. Yeah. <laughs> God, oh, that is just goodness. so special. <laughs> that. It, it's like shooting trap. <laughs> <laughs> I could say we're on the X, boys. <laughs> Oh, uh, you know, I can't like, I can't even help but laugh because like my laugh is about how rare this is. Yeah, this is insane. This doesn't happen. I mean, it does, but so yeah, seldom. Yeah. 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 Not on public land. Look, look at this right here. What? He's dead. See that green head? Kill that duck right there. Right here, right here. All right, let's go. Kill him. Boy, Rio. And Josh is done. Yeah, that's my last one, boys. And they're decoying like that. It's that's, uh, that's special. Like you just don't get that every time. Oh man, Kevin. Don't even know what to do with myself. Spin back around. Let's see where you're looking at. Right over the luckies. Right now. Real. <laughs> Good night. I don't even know how to describe Dude, I haven't what had ducks happened. finish like that. You know? Like there's just I mean you can't. If you took a new hunter on the hunt like this, they would never do anything else in their life. They would quit their job, they'd get divorced, they'd do everything. They'd be like, <laughs> I'm gonna kill greenheads until I perish. That's that's my goal. <laughs> oh, man. You know what I'm saying though? Yeah. This is insane. Like that that's the most fun. Most 15 minutes of fun I've had in a long time. <laughs> Someone bring out the clock, because I want to know what time it's it is. It's 8.15. Man. Dude, we haven't been here enough to get my feet cold. Like, <laughs> it's like 40 degrees, the sun is out, the mountains are in the background. I can't say it any better than Kevin. This has just been silly absolutely silly and if you hunt a lot you know this is as rare as shooting a banded bird and well we did that too every once in a while i shoot an episode that i feel a little guilty about everything just goes too well and honestly it's a pretty poor representation of the reality of water balance but this day this one day is what we dream of and no matter how many times i see a day like this I'll hunt these green heads until I perish. <laughs>